It's been good, you know, just seeing, you know, the work showing the game, you know, that's the biggest thing. You just got to keep working. I know you can work with Joey. He said he was trying to be, got right some of the fundamentals, some of the technique stuff. It looks like he's paying a lot of special boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, you know, like I told y'all last time, just base and, you know, stop relying on just out jumping everybody. Something like it's tempting because of my athleticism, but I got to be disciplined. I mean, you know, no team stays the same, you know, just like us, you know, they're going to fix, you know, mistakes that they're making down the road, you know, but, you know, as far as like the strengths of the guys, they still do the same thing, you know, so nothing new there. We just, you know, we're coming out there being more more aggressive and just stop, you know, letting people hit us first. One thing about you It just, you know, staying solid, like, you know, whenever I get switched on a guard, just holding my own and, you know, just trying to guard actions out there if they're not going to the basket. Are you surprised whenever you don't block a shot? Like, oh, yeah. Whenever you go up for a shot to block, are you, like, how do you feel when you don't get it? Like, when it's floaters, like, the high floaters, I understand because that's what they're taught to do. To, it's for avoiding shot blockers, so they put it really high. That one is 50-50. But whenever it's like a layup and I, like, miss it, by this much, oh, it kills me inside. Being in the city with one better shot blocker than the city, Jaron Jackson, do you, do you look at his game and try to see what you can take from the way he played defense? I mean, one thing I look at him for is not shot blocking, surprisingly, is he can also slide his feet. You know, that's the big thing, you know, like, you know, I feel like I'm different than most bigs in shot blocking. You know, there's a lot of bigs who go block shots in half court, but I chase people down. You know, a lot of people don't have that speed, so that's what separates me. Does the bottom of the locker room feel a little more, you guys say, game by game, does it feel a little more urgent just given what's at stake over the next couple of weeks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, we have a we have a pretty good record for most teams, but to our standard, we're playing every game like it's our last one. Yeah, you know, coaches definitely put emphasis on us, you know, you know, cranking it up, you know. He always talks about, you know, how many games we've played and, you know, what the standard should look like right now and, you know, we're trying to do big things in March, so that's why. Have you thought about that at all? Uh, I mean, that's kind of why I came to a, a, a school like Memphis. You know, I left my old school because, you know, I was tired of every time March came around, I'm filling out brackets on who I think should win when I should be playing in there. So that's why I left. I mean, you know, it's just, it's a luxury, you know, like it not only, you know, does, does he pass the ball really well? He's a great scorer, so that gives me opportunities to get um, lobs and stuff because if the point guard isn't a good scorer, they're just going to tag me the whole time, but they have to help on him, so that gets me open. Benny said you guys, it felt like you guys came out flat last Saturday against Tulane in a game where obviously the red stuff and the Larry Pitt ball in. Do you see like it would be pretty easy to come out with sense for the team? You know, can you point to anything why that happened? Nah, you know, we just. It just came out flat. It was just one of those games, you know. But, you know, we can't dwell on that. We just got to move on and bounce back like we did um, our last game. You got 11 o'clock star on Sunday. You know, traditionally these teams, Memphis teams, when they get started 11, 12 o'clock, it's always a slow start. What can be done to make sure you have the energy to start the game so you don't find yourself in the dog fight? 
I mean, just just keep the same mentality we had last game, you know. Like, it's still season is coming to that March area, so we got to just go out there like we came out Saturday, trying to go up by a lot of points early.